Hi everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this Halloween baking video. Today we're going to be making this monster cookies. They're honestly super easy to make. The first thing that we need is our cookie dough recipe. I do have the recipe, only four ingredients, and it's my go-to recipe. Then I'm just going to be using my uh, rolling pin with space bands, and uh, I do have a tutorial on this one if you want to check it out. Then I'm just going to be taking my round cookie cutter, then that goes to the oven for about, um, I would say, 8 to 12 minutes on 350, just keep an eye on them. I'm as well going to be using my realizing recipe. It's super easy and it's my go-to recipe. I'm first going to be working with my green cookie. Now this is a perfect kind of project to do with kids or people who love like messy stuff because this is going to get messy. Just so you know, we're going to be making these monsters and they are kind of slappy monsters and the monster is supposed to be like falling all over the cookie. So yes, you know, make it as slippery as you want it to be. I'm pretty sure most kids will love like making this step. So yeah, I'm just going to be taking my scribe tool. I do have a tutorial on this one as well, you know, to just get rid of any air bubbles. Yes, the cookies are messy, but just kind of like to make the messy part a bit better looking, if that makes any sense. But yeah, and just take your time and arrange that you want it to dry. Now, because uh, realizing is all over the place, um, you're going to find out that uh, there is messy parts well in your surface. So that's why I suggest to work with um, on top of a um, wax paper piece. And since I was running out of wax paper at the moment, I used some cupcake wrappers and it works just as well. Remove all the messy parts and just let it rest until it's dry. This is how my purple one looks like at the moment. And here I'm just quickly showing you how I did it with the orange one. If you don't have a piping bags or anything like that, you can totally use spoons. Doesn't really matter because it's going to be messy anyways. And so this is what my black one looks like. I made a combination of black gel food coloring and my realizing one night before. So my black was like really intense. And then for the yellow one. You can choose any colors that you want, obviously, but I chose this uh, colors because those uh, these are the colors that remind me of Halloween. And then uh, as far as for the little eyes, I'm just going to be taking a toothpick. And this is the method that I'm going to be using without any piping back or any piping tip or any pipeless back or any Ziploc back, whatever method you use you know, to work with. As you notice, I just cut my toothpick and I'm just going to be using that uh, bit, the one that is cut it, to make the eyes. Again, you don't really need uh, special equipment. However, I did use my tipless bags and um, to me, this is easier to just apply the eyes because using a toothpick, it's fine, but, but it's going to take you a while to just arrange the eyes as you want, it, as you want them to dry. And with this method, with my tipless bag, uh, it's easier because you can work uh, faster with this one. You know, add as many dots as you want to. You don't have to only add dots. Here's an example that you don't have to um, add all your eyes like round. They can be like sloppy like this one. Creative and don't be afraid to just use a shape that is not like an eye shape. you know what I mean? And I well, I draw pairs of eyes, but if you want to, you can just uh, draw just one eye per like set. Once it's dry, I'm just going to be taking my marker and this is an edible marker and so far I'm loving it and pretty much going to be finishing my eyes with uh, some tiny dots in the middle or just in the sides or just wherever you're, you want your like dry to be to have the black stuff and just draw your eyes looking at whatever direction uh, you want them to be. They can be both uh, facing the same direction or just um, one eye looking at one direction and the other one looking to another one. Just be creative, have fun, and I hope you liked this idea. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, and share it. Happy Halloween if you celebrate it, and um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys!